What is going on everybody and welcome to another Digital Altar video. Today we are jumping into another suggestion from our good friend Kamisama over on Twitter who told us to take a look at Kenrith the Returned King. Now this is an absolutely beautiful card. Uh, Kieran Yanner, I believe I'm saying that correctly, uh, created the original artwork for this card. It is absolutely beautiful, very stoic. Uh, and I'm really excited to jump into this because there's a lot to this one that I think we're going to try and fine tune uh, using some of the basic things that we've done in past proxy uh, tutorials. So we're going to take a look at this, hopefully have a good time doing it, and hopefully you guys learn how to do some cool stuff along the way. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. We have the card opened up, and as always, we're gonna try and maybe reverse engineer this a bit. We've already created the proxy, so I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I did and why I did those things as we go through. Now, the first thing, as always, you wanna make sure that you're getting the highest quality art that you can. Thankfully for this card, obviously Scryfall is where we pulled the original card. Scryfall is a great resource for that, uh, but Art of MTG is another fantastic website that has a lot of the high res artwork for each set, especially for newer sets uh, available for download. So please go check that website out. It is fantastic. Uh, and as I said, the first step always going to be to drag in your image. Now, the goal for this before I kind of take too much time looking at the artwork is to essentially even out the frame all the way around. I want to use that big picture uh, kind of frame to really, really highlight that stoic kind of face that uh, Kenrith has here. Uh, and so what I decided to do was try and line that, that image up with essentially this outer frame here, uh, which is where we essentially got this. Now, we fine-tune this later, of course, uh, but the first step is truthfully just to clean up the frame. Uh, now, as always, essentially what we did is pull down sections here, to get rid of the bump here and here. Uh, and then we actually did the same thing here at the bottom. I did not particularly like having the uh, the foil stamp in this one. I thought it was a bit distracting. Uh, and so we essentially used the same trick where we select a section of the bottom frame, just move it over on top of that and then blend it in. There is sometimes a little bit more of that foil stamp that you have to take out, but thankfully using that clone stamp tool or just a black brush, uh, sample this color and you can kind of color that in. Uh, and essentially what we ended up with, and I'll, I'll deselect the uh, bottom, is this beautiful frame here. Now, uh, I did add just a slight drop shadow, uh, which I think, as you can see, adds a nice little depth around here. Now, I do have the light angle coming from kind of the, the top left here, so we get a nice little drop shadow around this side and then the top with not quite so much around the bottom and that right side, but it just gives it that nice depth. And then again, putting the artwork in composition is so important. I did want it to be roughly centered, but obviously skewed slightly to the right. Uh, so that way um, it's a little bit more balanced. If you have his face in the direct center, it feels very off balance, very off kilter. And so I didn't want to do that. Uh, now, normally I would select out the text from the card itself, but in this case, I decided uh, to actually just overlay the text on top using my own uh, just text tool. Uh, and I found that to be a lot more helpful. It makes it very, very clean. Uh, I did add just a slight drop shadow and then of course added in the mana symbols as well. Now there is one really important thing that I wanted to mention when you do the mana symbols in particular. Uh, one also in terms of font, play with the font a little bit. I'm still keeping the Balearin Bold font, which is what we usually use for these proxies. Technically, that is not what the original cards use by any means for the rules text. So you could definitely play around with that. I think I would too, honestly, uh, but I think for this video, this actually works quite well. Um, the other thing I would mention, when you look at the mana symbols uh, that are down here, you want to make sure they're slightly smaller than the mana symbols up here, because this is obviously the focus. This needs to be slightly smaller to match that text size. Um, now, obviously, we did add a drop shadow to these, but something else you should probably keep in mind is alignment. Uh, and honestly, these could be slightly closer. And I'll just show you how to do that very, very quickly. If you select, so this is the one, two, three, and four, which are right here. 
And actually, we can select the uh, red mana symbol too, since we want all of these in line. Uh, and then you can come up to these alignment tools and just push that over and align all of that in one nice little line there. Uh, now, it still doesn't look perfect. I'll maybe fine tune that after the fact, but. Uh, that's a very easy way to make sure that everything is kept in line. You can then align, obviously, the one and the green uh, on a uh, horizontal plane to make sure that they are even, and just make sure that you're getting everything as clean as you can uh, when you do your own proxies. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. This was honestly a, a bigger exercise in text and uh, mana symbols than anything else. Thankfully, the frame itself wasn't too difficult, uh, but finding that composition and getting it exactly where I wanted it did take a little bit of time. But again, beautiful artwork by Kirian Yanner, and this is the finished piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you again to Kami-sama uh, for uh, providing us with this suggestion. Guys, if you have a suggestion for a uh, digital altar that you would like to see, if you've got a frame idea maybe, uh, please share it with us in the comments section below. I would greatly appreciate it. This is a really fun series. You guys seem to enjoy it as well. So thank you guys so much for the support. Hope you have a fantastic day.